With over 9,000 stocks in the stock market, how do you decide what to buy? Well, there's a lot of different investing strategies that people implement, such as growth investing, dividend investing, even meme stock investing. Yes, that's actually a thing. But here, I'm about to teach you value investing. Value investing is where we buy stocks that are either undervalued or fair valued, and then we hold them for long periods of time, usually a minimum of one year, so that we can get the much cheaper capital gains taxes. Now, a few last year, actually, we started something called a millionaire club portfolio. And part of this portfolio is where we're buying undervalued stocks and then holding them. Now, today, the portfolio is valued around $8,000. When we first started a year ago, the portfolio we started with was only $2,000. So what I'm going to do today is show you what we bought. I bought the five best stocks that I could find. And in addition, I want to talk to you about how to get started with the Millionaire Club portfolio. If perhaps this is the first time you're watching this video or you haven't actually started investing in the stock market yet. And I will tell you up front, the five stocks I bought today are the five best stocks to buy now. Meaning that if you're just getting started and if I was just now starting out with a brand new portfolio, I would just buy the five stocks that I bought today. Because right now at the current time, these are the best stocks to buy. Now, let's talk about what value investing is. There's two different approaches to value investing. One approach is coming from billionaire Warren Buffett. And billionaire Warren Buffett has the approach of buying really good companies at fair value and then just holding on to them for very long periods of time. John Templeton, another billionaire, billionaire John Templeton's approach was buy undervalued companies and then hold them until they get up to fair value. Now, with our Millionaire Club portfolio, the one I'm about to show you, we're kind of doing a bit of a blended approach. So we're buying some stocks that are around fair value that Warren Buffett would buy and some stocks that are undervalued that John Templeton would buy. We're just combining the strategies of two billionaires, but it's all underneath the umbrella of value investing within the stock market. Now, we don't need to get into the details on what all of that means and why. If you're brand new to this channel, the first time you're seeing this, in the Millionaire Club playlist that is on the homepage of this channel, if you go to that playlist and you go to the first three videos in that playlist, I do a deep dive and explain value investing in a lot more detail, how to actually find these stocks, when to know when to sell, and all that stuff, how to do fundamental analysis. So if you're brand new and you want to know how to do that, just go to the first three videos in this playlist and you will find the information on how to actually do the analysis to find these value stocks. For the rest of you, let's just talk about the stocks that I bought. And if you want to follow along, I welcome you absolutely 100%. So in the Millionaire Club portfolio, unfortunately, it's lost quite a bit of value over the last three weeks with this huge market sell-off. But we're still up. We're not down. And right now, we're sitting at $7,900. By the way, as part of this Millionaire Club portfolio, the way we got it from 2,000 to 8,000 in the past year is we have been depositing $250 every other week. Or you could do $125 per week, $500 a month, however you want to do it. But we're doing it per paycheck. So every paycheck, we're putting $250 into this account. And the benefit of that is if we do $250 every other week, then by the end of the year, that's $6,500 invested. And that $6,500 just happens to be the Roth IRA maximum here in the United States. So by doing $250 every paycheck or $250 every other week, we're able to max out our contributions in a Roth IRA. Now, unfortunately for me, I'm not allowed to have a Roth IRA, so this is just in a regular investment account for me, but I did want to go over the portfolio real fast, especially if you're new to this channel and just going to show you what stocks are in the portfolio currently. So the stocks in the portfolio are ALLY, which is Ally Financial, AMTD, which is AMTD Idea Group, 
ATLC, which is Atlanticus, C, which is Citigroup, CCRN, Cross Country Healthcare, CMC, Commercial Metals, CVX, Chevron, ECPG, Encore Capital Group, FINV, Finvolution, GM, General Motors, GRVY, Gravity. That's a brand new one that I just bought. We're going to talk about that one in more detail. GSM, Feral Globe, HDSN, Hudson Technologies, INVA, NOVIVA, MMM, 3M, OXY, Occidental Petroleum, QFIN, which is QFU Technology, TGNA, Tinga. I don't actually know how to pronounce that. Tinga, Tigna. Anyway, good company. I just have no idea how to pronounce it. VALE, Vale, VYGR, Voyager Therapeutics, WBA, Walgreens Boots Alliance, XOM, ExxonMobil, and ZIM, which is ZIM Integrated Shipping. Now, I do want to give a brief update on ZIM real fast because they had some pretty horrible earnings. By the way, if you're wondering why I haven't posted a video in the last, uh, what, month and a half, it's because I've been holding cash. We've just been putting that 250 in there every other week and just building it up, holding cash, because I was waiting for earnings season to end. And the nice thing about waiting for earnings season to end is this allows me to buy stocks with the full amount of information. I was able to go through, do my fundamental analysis on all these companies. And this is generally a good thing to do, is to sort of look and rebalance your portfolio once a quarter after earnings season is out. Earnings season ended yesterday. So this was a great opportunity to now come in here, look at all the stocks and make my buys and decide if I wanted to sell anything. Now, I decided not to sell anything, but if there was one stock I would have sold, it would have been ZIM. And the reason for this is ZIM is going through some very short-term difficulties right now. But the difficulties have nothing to do with the company itself. The difficulties actually just have to do with the entire shipping industry as a whole. Now, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know that in the past, we've also invested in other shipping companies, which we've already sold and taken profits on. ZIM is the one that we've been holding because it was the most undervalued. But with the bad earnings that they had last quarter, I can certainly understand why people might want to sell. And I want to be very clear about something here. This is not financial advice, okay? What I buy in my portfolio for my billionaire club does not have to be what you buy in your portfolio. I strongly encourage you to go do your own research, do your own fundamental analysis, decide for yourself if you want to buy a stock or not. Again, if you want to learn how to do fundamental analysis, there's a free video showing you how to do it. Just go to one of the first three videos that are in this Millionaire Club playlist. And again, this is not a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold any asset. I'm just a regular guy. My opinions might be wrong, might be inaccurate. So please go do your own research. Now, when it comes to ZIM specifically, I had a full analysis on ZIM's earnings, and I explained in great detail why you might want to sell if you're short-term minded and why you might, might want to buy the dip if you're long-term minded. And you can watch that full analysis in the video I uploaded yesterday. Yesterday's video has a full analysis on that. Now, for me personally, in the Millionaire Club portfolio, because I'm a lot more long-term minded, I decided to hold the stock and not sell. I'm not going to buy yet because I know short-term, the company's still struggling and we're probably going to continue going down for the next six months. But I do think that ZIM is right, that 2023 will continue to be a struggle, but that things will start turning around in 2024. So if we do start buying the stock and dollar cost averaging in more, it's probably not going to happen until either Q3 or Q4, more towards the later part of this year. Now, all of that said, let's talk about the five stocks I bought today and the five best stocks to buy now. And if you're just starting out in this portfolio, these are the five stocks that I would buy if I was just starting out.
The five stocks that I bought today, the five best stocks to buy now are GRVY, Gravity. I bought five shares of this stock at $65.75. This was a new purchase to the portfolio, brand new stock. So we're gonna talk about this stock in a lot more detail. The other four stocks were all dollar cost averaged in. And one of those was MMM 3M, I bought one share of that. Now, if you look at 3M's earnings, they were a uh, supposedly apparently dismal last quarter, but it was actually really, really good news because 3M finally settled this really long-term lawsuit, this major lawsuit they've been dealing with. They finally got it settled. It is now done. It is behind them. And now we can move on and just focus on great quarters and great profitability in the future. So that's why I did decide to dollar cost average in to 3M. Next up is HDSN Hudson Technologies. This is a refrigerant manufacturer. And I was looking at this for growth in the AI sector as more companies buy more computers, they get more data service centers, they're gonna need more refrigerant to cool all of those computers. So I did buy four more shares of that at $10.18. Next up, GSM Ferroglobe. Uh, GSM Ferroglobe, they make the silicone metal that goes into EVs as EV production ramps up and more and more people buy EVs. I do believe Ferroglobe is gonna do extremely well. They're the number one silicon metal manufacturer in the world about 25 more shares at $5.64. And then last up was GM, General Motors. Uh, GM has uh, been struggling a little bit, but they're kind of getting things back together. They're turning things around. They're getting on their EV game. So I did decide to buy three more shares at $32.98. And by the way, if you want to know everything that I buy, the second I make that trade, all you have to do is follow me at X, what was formerly known as Twitter. And you can do so at twitter.com slash real Scott Curry or x.com slash real Scott Curry. And you will get all of my buys the second I make the trade by following me on Twitter. So those are the five best stocks to buy now. Now let's talk about the new stock that I added to the portfolio today. And that stock is GRVY Gravity. Gravity is a South Korean video game corporation primarily known for the development of the massive multiplayer online role-playing game Ragnarok Online. GRVY has a current PE ratio of 4.6 compared to a sector average of 26.19. Now, being a South Korean company, it was a little bit hard to find easy to read financials on this company. Normally, I would use my Moomoo account and I would read through the financials there, but it wasn't really pulling up that well just because it's a South Korean company. So for this video, I used the Seeking Alpha financials to show you guys what's going on. So taking a look at the financials on Seeking Alpha, the total revenues have been increasing each quarter for the past four quarters. So incredible growth coming out of this company. Gross profit has also been going up. So again, wonderful growth from Gravity. In addition, the earnings per share has increased for each of the past four quarters. Again, I love it. Gravity doing a phenomenal job growing both earnings and revenue. Now moving on to the balance sheet where we can see if the company is financially strong or not. Their total current assets are $407 million, while their total current liabilities are only $108 million. So a very strong balance sheet for this company. And finally, taking a look at the cash flow, they did have some trouble about three quarters ago, but the last two quarters in a row both been positive. Now, being as this is a company in South Korea, there aren't really any Wall Street analysts or quant analysts covering it, but there are four analysts on Seeking Alpha that are covering the stock and all four rate it a buy. Three rate it a buy and one rates it a strong buy. So for all of those reasons, I absolutely love Gravity. In fact, this might very well be one of the best stocks that I have found in the past six months. Uh, this company is just incredible. They're doing everything right. This could easily fall into a growth stock category as well as a value stock category. It's literally the best of both worlds. So I love this stock. This is definitely my number one pick by far right now, but all five of the stocks that I mentioned are great buys. 
So hopefully this helps you out. It helps you get started. Now, if you haven't yet opened an account and you want to get started with us in this Millionaire Club Portfolio Challenge, all you have to do is use my link in the description below. Open up an account with Moomoo. Deposit at least $100 in there. If you deposit $100 or more, you're going to get five free stocks. If you deposit $1,000 or more, you're going to get 15 free stocks plus $50 cash. And if you deposit $5,000 or more, you're going to get 16 free stocks with one of those being worth a lot of money plus the $50 cash. Just use my link in the description below to open your account with Moomoo and get those free stocks. All you have to do is leave your money in the account for at least 60 days. And by the way, Moomoo is coming to Canada soon. So if you're in Canada and you want to join us in this Millionaire Club Portfolio Challenge as well, just use my link in the description below to pre-register for Canada, get some free gifts during the pre-registration period. And then as soon as they open up here in a few months, you'll be able to open your account and get free stocks on top of the free gifts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, for those of you who are subscribed, double check, make sure that bell icon is clicked. If the bell icon is not clicked, you're not going to get the notifications. So make sure the bell icon is clicked and all is set. I Please share this video with your friends, your family, your children, so that they will know what's going on in the market as well. And they'll be able to know what to buy and how to get started investing. I want to help as many people as possible become millionaires in the stock market. We're all going to do this together. And I want as many people as possible to join us in on this challenge. Now, if you missed the buys from the last time we did an update, which was about maybe six weeks ago, make sure you watch the last Millionaire Club update that I posted here.